Hi everyone, thank you so much for uh, joining us today uh, on the evening of the 23rd of uh, November, uh, July. Sorry. Uh, so today, for those who are unaware, today is the 101st birthday of the prestigious architect uh, Jeffrey Bava. And to celebrate and commemorate this uh, great occasion, we've come here to uh, Druvi Disaram's house, a pianist of Sri Lanka. And to do us a, do a small show around of this wonderful uh, house, we have the um, architect responsible for this, uh, the great, uh, lovely Amila Dibel. Hi, Amila. Uh, so, just to give you all a brief introduction to Amila, she um, was a part of the construction of the Kandalama Hotel with uh, Jeffrey from the start to the finish. And a more um, recent project that she has done is, like I said, Dr the restoration of Druidi Serum's house and the relocation of uh, Ina Di Silva's house from Colombo all the way to uh, Benthota. So, uh, so how you been, Abila? Good, thank you. So, uh, shall we begin our thing or? Let's go. Yeah? Sorry, there's a lot of background noise because of the construction going on in this area, but uh, the view just catches up for all the noise. Yeah, we, this is the main courtyard. I think it started to drizzle, so we Yeah, <laughs> I think we'll go in in a little bit. <laughs> so, let me talk about it once we get in. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Way. That was, we walked past uh, Drury's parental home, which was a colonial home uh, that he inherited. And then we are uh, beyond it, uh, in this big courtyard, with he, uh, his mother had two small houses okay. that they had built for uh, re as rental houses in the 1970s. So when he inherited that property, he invited us, commissioned Mr. Bava to help make a family home for him here okay so there's uh, the the room you see back here, the one that we walked past is a part of the old house okay so that the, right room over there yeah then and then mr baba extended that space that's a, what he added so it's a, actually this is a link of two or three existing buildings with flat roof connections and roof connections and the garden and the house move around okay. um, creating some nice spaces uh, related to the outside and okay related. so it has a perfect blend between yeah, nature exactly. and the man-made yes. structures so this was the original garage that we came past okay and we extended that into this double height living space with a that narrow staircase that goes up to Radhika, the younger daughter's bedroom up there. Okay. And this courtyard has had some beautiful trees. Now you still see the ancient jack tree and, the, and a big mango tree um, that were retained. And so these were all there in the original, original house, was it? House. There okay. were a couple more trees that have gone now. Um, Ruby and his family had a wonderful collection of antique furniture and paintings that you will see around this uh, property. Okay. All right. Still here. Should we move this, on? Yes, oh. let's do that. I want to talk about this uh, 
wall that you see, uh, both Dhruvi and Shami and Mr. Bava share the real love for European art, for Italian and Mediterranean architecture. And um, this pinky yellow wall has a, apparently they had spent hours trying to get the right colors, trying to match it. And in our restoration project, we tried to um, copy, uh, try to bring back those colors. Replicate yeah, it. Replicate those colors. So these were seen from the uh, layers of paint behind. It had been repainted many times, so we had to kind of peel okay. it off and find the original colors. Come back up See, so that building that you're looking at, that would have been one of the houses, the little houses that were rental property. Okay, okay. That This is, uh, there are two bedrooms, uh, two bedrooms, uh, two with the master bedroom and the uh, um, Mandira, the elder daughter's room, that is uh, linked with a, a deck at a higher level. Unfortunately, at this time, you don't see the light from those upper windows that really come through into this bedroom, giving it some nice a light, nice light quality, indirect light quality. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. The, the, these paintings here are some of the, the collection of, mm -hmm. Ruby's collection of Justin Bernardo and also some of the trust collection. Okay. Jeffrey Baba Trust. The old columns up there, Mr. Baba and Ruby had found them. And they were in this restoration, they got them all touched up and uh, restored. Let me just go up a yeah. little bit and show up the The intricate details show a, a very Sri Lankan and a Silanese background to the art. between the boundary wall at the back and the, the back wall of the bedroom, which has created like an air trap and a light for light and ventilation also. So there is constant flow of cross ventilation through the bedroom and the bathroom. You see that little gap on the sides. Wow, okay. There are some nice pergolas on the top yeah. for ventilation as well. Yeah. Okay, so this leads into Mandira's room. Mandira's room. This had been a fun room. They had play area upstairs and. Uh, The original staircase didn't have a handrail, but we've added those now. So 
So this um, top mezzanine floor connects into the master yes, bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, connects the master bedroom. There's that connecting door. Okay, let me just... was a part of remnants of a, um, the old uh, rental house okay. that he modified and added to to create this these two rooms. Actually, I think this house was a series of existing buildings that he linked with roofs and flat roofs. Okay, that explains the so many corridors yeah, that connects the, the spaces. spaces in between. Yeah. This is the dining room. The okay. Room. And uh, it's, uh, and in this room you see really the, it's a lot of nice details that uh, Sabava used. This is a very simple structure, uh, concrete columns and plastered walls. It's, uh, this is a wooden ceiling with lactan plaster infill. Okay. Is, uh, and um, these lights and the locks are all uh, customized by Mr. Baba for this space. So they've got very interesting, you know, this, this house is built in 1986. So when at that time we didn't have so many architectural um, I have, you know, hardware. So a lot of it has been turned out specially. For instance, these windows, you see the locks. See these locks and these are a normal lock, a bolt that he, up there, that it's turned around to become a flush bolt here at the bottom. Okay, it's pretty much like an in, uh, inverted. inverted lock. Yeah. Okay, so that same thing is yeah, put on yeah. the inside, yeah. So that it comes and press flush against this when it's closed. So all these would have been custom made. Okay, Beautiful all right. Detail. So interesting feature. I believe it was, yeah. yeah. So this table is a single plank Paramara um, tabletop with uh, more contemporary copies of the Wolfendahl chair. And the steel base of the uh, table, those are all Jeffrey Baba designs. Okay. The painting back there are all by Lucky Semenayaka is from the collection of the Vinaganga uh, Trust. You see this other detail here for the bamboo packs that go here. This is a glass detail that you can close and let the tack down. Okay. Or when you want to roll it up, you put it out there and hold the tack back. For the blinds. For yeah. the blinds. And this back here, yes, that is uh, actually the water tank tower. And the water tank 
is up there but just as a fun element i think he's added this little uh, platform and platform the top at the top and uh, we i think they called it the minstrels gallery okay because uh, and the children had enjoyed playing going up and down there and that was a great play area for them all right so even while maybe while they were having their meals on this table they could you know have an entertainment segment on top <laughs> that would they could yes enlighten the whole uh, mood and everything yeah. space is really very special with the these windows that open back into the uh, courtyard the four court and uh, apparently the story goes that charmini was not so sure about having such a open space as a dining space so mrs bhava had apparently mocked up the walls and shown her that it would be like a dining space in a corridor so then after that it just evolved and then they introduced these uh, barn doors Okay. They have the one of the most special spaces in the house. It brightens the entire room up yeah. because of the natural light that pours in, I suppose. And then there is a the pond beyond it. Quite dangerous people can walk out in. Yeah. Now in the pond. And open the bottom parts of the door also. Okay. Yeah. If you are unaware you would go, you know, yeah. splash right in. Yeah, parents would have been many times. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, this this space is a new space, and um, that the, the service areas are behind you. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's Sanaya just do one, one last show of the Lucky Sanayaka painting, and I suppose this corridor is another connecting uh, thing between the two houses. Two houses. The old what was left, what was used for this house is from the old house. Okay. These are some of Druvi's and uh, Mandira's uh, concert posters. Druvi and uh, the Rohan is said on their great musician family. Older daughter who performs quite a lot in London. They live in London. Okay. For those who joined us last uh, week, it's another. Uh, we spoke about a pentagram uh, last week at the John Keel's uh, head office. This is another one. As you can see, there's different designs, as uh, Michael Anthony's proposed last week. It's uh, very intricately done, and uh, it holds a lot of uh, valuables of the family, which is usually kept uh, by traditional families in their homes. So it's a, a really nice piece. Let's continue on this. We wanted to go upstairs. This is the staircase and part of the original staircase from the old house that is beyond this wall. This is the rearmost boundary of. the new uh, the dubi diseram house okay. yeah. all right so from here on where it's a different house. house which is also renovated by mr baba okay so according to this one that it was recently so so it's not a part of this property anymore okay this is a original stairway of the original house so there is one way to see that
space or this space is very beautiful. It has these windows and a veranda around this room which has been enclosed with these windows. It's just uh, it's got a study at this end and a space for a bathroom and uh, another room in this space. area I suppose, yeah. This is the main bedroom here. And what is special, this is a really nice room with nice special quality. And it's open to the uh, driveway. It's quite nice during the daytime. You get lots of lovely light and you see the... Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> we can't no. see it, but... Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a special room and it is uh, open to the to a balcony here. It's raining now but actually it's really quite lovely. It overlooks the uh, driveway and the courtyard that you would have come you we came in. That's the courtyard that we yes. came through and the main door there, yeah. right? So it would have been really nice. Unfortunately, yeah. it's raining right now, so and we can't go there. But very colorful with the pink uh, bogan And see, you know, this above had this this kind of fencing at this high level with the bogan so that you didn't really quite see the neighbors. So I suppose he uh, predicted he how predicted. Uh, <laughs> cluttered Kalamu would be, and did it way way before it actually came, came up. So. Yeah. It's a really nice touch. Yes. Next, I believe we have, I think for me is uh, the most important uh, room, the music room. Yes. For even for a musician's house, I suppose, that is the most important room coming up. So. So this is where I suppose all the magic happened. Yes, this is a. Um, this is also. Uh, this part of the room is a part of the old house, and that out there behind you is the extension done by Mr. Baba. But it all feels like the same. He lined the walls with bookshelves for good, better sound quality, and um, this was also used like a indoor living room because the other living room that we went to first is more like an outside veranda living room. Okay. So this is an uh, air conditioned living room with, uh, with Ruby's um, piano which was restored and uh, the artwork on this wall, you can't miss the, these are the Ruby's collection of artwork and also a couple of pieces from the trust, from the Durgava trust. These are the Justin Deronega paintings. He was actually, Justin was Drury's uncle. Okay. So the, the, he has quite a good collection. Quite an artistic room. It's, yes. I suppose it was built to have that cre the, get those creative juices flowing once you see so much creativity in the room with the uh, paintings and all the, all the Sri Lankan masks, his collection. Uh, you said this was his collection? Or I think it is his mother's collection. And uh, these are what are left here, the bigger collection, I think. And part of it is at the VNA Museum. These are some that have been displayed here. They're very old, they're originals. Yeah. 
so these are the i suppose the uh, bookshelves you said that optimized uh, music the sounds sound. and everything So that's where we began the video, with where the rain unexpectedly poured upon us and we had to run into the house. Um, so I suppose that brings us to the end of the show round of this, uh, I think, amazing house with the amazing rest restoration done. Uh, thank you so much, Amila, for taking uh, time out of your busy schedule, I suppose, uh, to show us this brilliant house because to be honest, the restoration done here is amazing. There's no sign of it being an old house. It's so, it's like it was built by Jeffrey yesterday. It was so nice. Uh, thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. Uh, so for all our viewers, I hope you had an amazing sight and you got to see every inch of this amazing house. To be honest, this video doesn't do justice. You have to come here to see it. It's brilliant, the colors and everything is just a peace of mind. You have a peace of mind when you're here. Um, if you want to do, if you do want to come and stay here, you can. If you're in Colombo um, and want to have like an artistic stay in Colombo, you can get in touch with us and we can obviously um, help you book this amazing place. Um, <coughs> just to uh, give you a little uh, sneak peek of next week, we will be going uh, live at the Museum of uh, Modern and Contemporary Art. And uh, please do join us in next Thursday at 6 p.m. And we will uh, show you a round of more, uh, modern art style of Sri Lanka. So for today, I'm signing off. Thank you so much uh, for joining us in uh, Jeffy Baba's house and Julie Desiree's house. Thank you.